here is a practical scenario where you must use the new copilot function in excel and actually it's a common requirement i get dates in all types of variations how do i get the start date and end date yes i could use split function i could use power query but still for each variation i'll have to use a different approach so this is where copilot seems to be the only practical and useful solution available copilot function is quite simple when you look at it but it can do wonders it has prompt and context prompt and context these are pairs i have made this as a table this table has a name table 3 let me call it my data i am not going to put copilot function as a part of this table if i put copilot function in one row is going to copy that function as a part of automatic formula copy feature of table and then for every row it is going to run copilot function and copilot function has a limit 100 function calculations within 10 minutes so if this data had 100 rows i would have finished that quota in one go if i put this function outside and refer to this column of a table copilot is going to run once so i'm going to save on the quota now what do i want to return start date end date elapse months and remaining days this is just plain text no formula whatsoever now we'll put the formula here so first part of the prompt is where is the input now this data is where that is the context so context one is our column we have already given table name so i am going to say my data dates then okay use the data is okay what do you do next then calculate that is the next prompt now what to calculate we have already given the column names so we will select those column names and that's all that you need to do so just to make it a little more sensible i'm going to give some additional instructions uh date in dd mmm yy format so i said remainder instead of remaining and then it understood it correctly so there you have it a real practical use of copilot and of course all this is array based and table based so i'm going to say year 2024 to year 25 which absolutely does not make any sense in the context of any format because its first date start date took 1st jan and year 25 it took 31st december it's not competing with excel functions you do things which are amazing and useful which are impossible to do using existing functions and i hope i have illustrated one such use case first of all it requires copilot license and your excel version has to be office pro plus and the latest version so if you found this useful try it out share it with everyone subscribe to the channel like the video and give me ideas for more videos so that's it for now see you soon thank you